In 2011, my sister was murdered by one of her friends because she wouldn't roll up a window. They were driving off and they were arguing and he had a gun in the car and he told my sister to roll up the window or I'm gonna shoot you and he shot her. He was sentenced to life, but there was an issue where he was about to get off and we had to do a retrial. A year ago, my mom and my stepdad came down to live with me for my sister's retrial. So last year I got promoted with my job. They gave me 2,500 to move and I decided to take a, a trip. I came back, my stepfather asked me for some money and I told him, give me a minute, I'll be right back. I went looking for the money where I put the money at in my drawer and it wasn't there, tore up the whole house, the room, everything. I asked my mom, I asked my stepdad and he was like, well, I don't know. And I was like, okay. Hey, you guys are the only one here. So just thinking about it, it makes me upset because I'm like, I know my mom went still from me and I know my stepfather, I call him Pops, I don't think he was still from me. So I'm just trying to figure out where's my money. My stepfather, he pretends to look with me, but it just felt like it was a little, just a little, his, his feeling wasn't really there to help me look for the money. And also, you know, when my mom and my stepfather came to live with me, a lot of little things started happening. My car got broken into, and when they came down, it's just all of a sudden things just start happening. In all, the amount of money that was missing was $800. It made it really hard for me to move. It really did, it was a struggle moving. You know, and at this time, it's supposed to be a time that we're supposed to be coming together, loving on each other. But then in the back of your mind, you're like, man, is this per did this person really steal from me? I really do think Pops stole my money, my Pops, um, because he has a, a drug problem. I mean, growing up as a child, I didn't see it. But as I got older, my mom told us stories. And I kind of start seeing the things here and there. But he's my Pops, so he does, he does no wrong in my eyes because he's that father figure that I always wanted. And I, I just really hope it's not my Pops, but I really do think it is. Well, Lynette, what uh, happened the day you found out your daughter's money was missing? She just came back from a trip, from celebrating a promotion that she just got the week before. And um, my husband asked to borrow some money. And <clears throat> my daughter talked it over with her boyfriend, and they agreed to go ahead and loan him the money. And, you know, he's borrowed money from her in the past, and I always paid it back, so it's no big deal. And um, when he asked to borrow the money, and they agreed to, to loan it to him. She went looking for the money, and that's when she found that the money came up missing, and she came into the room and told me, she says, Mom, my money's gone. And I'm like, what do you mean your money's gone? She's like, somebody stole my money. And I'm like, well, who would steal your money? Like, who would, because Shamar's the type of person, she'll give you the shirt off her back. Like, if, if, if she has a dollar, and you need that dollar, she may need it for gas or, 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 or something, but she'll give it to you because that's the type of person she is. And when she told me her money came up missing, it kind of made me feel bad, like who was still from Shamara, so. There's no need to steal from Shamara. There's no need to steal from her. She'll give you whatever she, whatever you ask for. Like, that's the type of person she is. Who, when you first heard, when she, she comes to you and says, somebody took my money, right? Mm -hmm. Who did you think initially? Well, they have a lot of friends coming in now, because they, they're young adults and they party, you know? Yeah. And she had a lot of friends coming in, in and out, so I thought maybe, it could have been one of her friends, like, you know, it, it's, a, it's a couple people that came in my mind that could, that was a little shady to me, that might, could have, might have took the money. I never w thought that it would be anybody, it, I, I, didn't, I didn't think that it could be my husband. And I know it's not me, because I don't, I don't steal from my daughter. Well, I would hope not. But you took a lie detector test, right? Whether yes. you took the money? Yes, I did. Um, but how did you come to think that maybe Carlos took the money? Because we were, okay. We were the only two people in the house, but we also had a, a mouse problem. A mouse? A rat problem. We had rat. mice. Mice or mice. rats? We had, we had both. We had we mice both. and rats. Jeez. Yeah, we, yeah, because it was a real big Victorian house. Right. And it was upstairs and downstairs. It was beautiful, big. But see, I'm scared of little creepy stuff. I'm scared of stuff that's creepy. I don't like crawly. mice either. And, you know, when I knew what the mice problem, I stayed in one area of the house with my back scratcher. If I'm walking somewhere, if I see it, bam, that's because right. I'm scary like that. Sure. So when she said that, I said, okay, if it wasn't her friends, well, maybe the mice, may, maybe the mice ate the money. Somebody took the money. It wasn't me. Carlos ever stole anything before? No, at one time it was a wallet that came up missing from my, my, my daughter's boyfriend, but the, but the wallet was found, so. Yeah. 
I mean, would you think that Carlos would do something no, like that? No, because he, he had a good job. Like, he was always providing for us, so why would he still? I and mean, why were you still from somebody that you love anyway? Why would you steal from your family? I want to say I'm so sorry for such a senseless, uh, tragic loss. Yeah. I mean, shoots her because... She wouldn't roll up a window. And because my, she wouldn't roll up a window. Yeah, my daughter, her name was Khalil McCoy. She has a twin brother named Adil. And um, when I tell you, my daughter was beautiful. She was a dancer. I mean, she was beautiful. At her high school. She was a dance captain two years in a row. She was, a, she was in a dancing for three, three years, and she had a scholarship to go to BCU to be a psychiatrist. Um, How old was she when she was killed? 20. They had just graduated from high school the week before. Father's Day, my daughter called me, asked me if she can go out with her friends to a club, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, but you got to come home because the next day, which was that Monday, she was supposed to start her new job. So Monday, I didn't really trip about her not texting me because I thought she was at one of her friend's house because it was close to her, her job. So Tuesday, I got a call from one of her classmates saying Khalil didn't make it to work. See, I know my daughter. I know all my children's character. Khalil loved to work. So for her not to have made it to work, it did something to me. I immediately called the police. They came out, took a statement, and just like a wild out, people started saying, help me find Kalil McCoy, she's missing. Facebook went off the charts. The news was everywhere. And then that same Tuesday, I was sitting at a friend's house. The police called me and asked me to come back. Now, we were right around the corner from where they found her body. Not only did the boy shot her in the head because she wouldn't roll up a window, he dumped her body. He dumped my daughter's body in a canal by my cousin's daycare. The first trial, when we found out who, what, who it was, he was sentenced to life in prison. Then, later on, I got a call saying that his sentence was overturned because of a technicality. So, when this happened, when I found out her sentence was overturned, we came back to move in with Shamar. Shamar said, Mama, just come So you're me. staying with your daughter for the retrial of for your the daughter's retrial murder. Of my daughter's murder. And so it's painful enough that you have to go through this, but then it's somebody you might love very deeply right. might steal from your daughter. 21 years. Mm. Me and you. But you already no, know that I will no. not do it, it every time. It was just me and you. We went through too I, much I together. Work, I work no, hard. We went, it was just me money, and you. We went pay, through too I much, Carlos. I keep a clean face in the street. No. Well, then everywhere. where did the money go? Well, I don't know where the money went. I don't even know where the money went, but all this I can say is over and over again, every time well, we argue, Carlos, I know we got somebody <laughs> took the money. But that's somebody We've was not me. Too much. But that's somebody was not okay. me. That's what I'm saying. Okay. How so did you I find out say. the money was missing? Because she told me. And I see people just looking around in the house for it, you know. Right before uh, the money was taken, you went to Shamir and asked for money, right? Yes, like a day or two before. How much did you ask for? Fifty dollars. For what? Just to pay or just to survive until I get paid. Survive? Yeah, just, you know, lunch money, cigarette right. money, you know, bus money. You know, go back and forth to work. Okay. Um, when you found out that you, people are looking at you, that you might have stole the money, how did you feel? You know, bombarded again, like, golly, why, why, why me? Why are you picking me? Why, why because I gotta be we the were only suspect? two people in the house. Nobody else is there. Has this affected your relationship with your wife? Yes. Yes, most definitely. How long ago was this? Maybe almost like six, seven months. OK. Yeah. Have you talked to Shamara since this happened? Very little. Very little. And Very they used to talk all the does time. She, does she think that you did it? Um, I guess she got a feeling that, uh, yeah, I mean, she probably said, well, my mom won't do it. My friends didn't do it. She think, but who's left? You, you? ever steal Bonnie before? No. Well, back, way back when I was a teenager. Right. You took a lie to touch touch, right? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully, um, we can resolve. You got a chair for uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> um, any chance anybody else took the money? Nobody else took the money, because my mom and I was the only one that was <coughs> left in the house when I went out of town. So, really, it's either got to be your mom or your pops. Yes, and I pray it's not my mom. Because if it's my mom, then our relationship is going to change. I mean, I'm going to still love her, but... Oh, it's man, are you better not have taken that money? If, if, I, listen, if it was me, it wasn't me. <laughs> All right.
Lynette, you took a lie detector test. Yes, I did. And we asked you, did you take any of Shamara's missing money? You answered no, and you told the truth. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do it, Mama. All right, Carlos, you took a lie detector test. I did. <laughs> we asked you, did you take any of Shamara's missing money? You answered no. Do you know for sure who took any of Shamara's missing money? Uh, you answered no. And the results of your three polygraph tests is that inconclusive due to undisclosed illegal drug use. He took no okay, money. Okay, hold on. Let's say you didn't take the Xanax. You did cocaine. Well, man, I'll tell you. Those I, drugs are expensive, aren't they? Yes, they are. However, you didn't you even go, have 50 dollars. Wait, 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 hold the, on. You didn't have 50 dollars. You didn't have 50 dollars. pass you the blunt. Okay, blunt I can understand it can a little be bit, stuff or whatnot. but did they give you a line of cocaine? You're like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I can't. How'd the cocaine get in your system? Well, that's the only thing I can oh, reason that maybe when I went to the wow. corner store and I smoked with them guys, you know. Wow. They'd be putting all kind of stuff. They'd be juicing it up. She advised me of it when we went. Are you? Do you have a drug problem? Uh, I had, had, had. Yes. He just graduated from a program in December. Six months. I knew about the drinking and the weed. You right. know, the little drinking. But you didn't know about the, the beginning, cocaine but... and the benzos? No. But you still did drugs. You knew you were coming on the show and she wanted an answer and you still took the drugs anyways. So, I just want to know... So, let me ask you. Did you take the money? All right, now... I didn't do no twenty five hundred or none of that. Well, how much did you? I take? took some money. How much? And I'm sorry. I, I apologize for the bottom of my heart. I was, I was wrong. I was desperate. I was, you know, going through a lot of whatnot. I took. Do the will. I I don't worry about it. I just, I just paid Carlos. the money. I just paid the money. No. And everything, everything sold. No. When are you I gonna pay? When are you gonna pay the money back? I'm gonna call TT. You're gonna pay the money back soon. I'm giving you five days. You're gonna pay that money back to Shamar. Because she still owe people. people. She had to borrow money from people. But I from didn't, our family. But I didn't and know you already know what we're going really, 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 Okay, okay, you stop. Stop, David. Listen, this is the, this is the real truth. I didn't know the money was yours. Yeah, I took the money. I took all the money. I'm sorry, but I didn't know it was yours. If it was you, I would have asked. You know I get paid by eight, nine hundred dollars a week. Just in one job. Okay. What'd you do with the money? I party with it. Yeah. Wow. So so let me let me just say this. Wow. Okay. There's no justification ever for stealing. Okay? So what and I'm I saying just, is, isn't, I, isn't it I just more of a problem that you have a very bad drug problem? I just leave it down so many years. It's just like a... But if, you, if somebody's got a serious drug problem with cocaine and everything else, they're going to do really bad stuff. And they're going to steal because they got to feed their drug habit. From their family? From their family? They'll steal from anybody. So I know you completed six months, but it seems like you need some more help, buddy. Because not only are you going to lose you know, yourself and drugs, you're gonna lose your family. I am going to I mean, you, 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 you I did, am. I, you did I, six I, months. I am, I am, I am. But you gotta stay on top of it. You don't walk out and you're magically I am. cured. I am, it's just like some triggers like yeah. Let's just take, let's, Money. let's do this and let it be the last time. Yes, I Because can. how many times do you have to go to a program? Listen, for your family's sake, I hope that you'll continue to get help. I hope you straighten out because you don't want to lose your family over that, all right? All right, thank Good you, luck man. to you. All right, thanks for coming on the show. Good luck to you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.